Welcome to Game Changers. My name is Jess Knox, and I'm here today with Bree Warner of the Island Institute. Bree, thanks for coming today. My pleasure. So, some people know you as the founder of Maine Pyline, uh, your background in the uh, Foreign Service, but tell me what you're doing today. So, I am the Economic Development Director at the Island Institute, which is a nonprofit focused on the sustainability of remote coastal and island communities um, throughout Maine. We're based in Rockland. Um, and my job is to work on income diversification and economic diversification of the communities in which we work. Um, the Island Institute has about five areas of work. We have energy, education, um, my job economic development, marine resources, and community development. Um, so we're a pretty comprehensive organization working on all aspects of sustainability of these communities. And how in your role with the Island Institute today, how does that how does that help build community for the islands or for the state in, uh, as a whole? So the organization has been around for a little over 30 years. And um, a few years ago, the leaders of the organization went back to the communities in which we work, which is primarily 15 unbridged island communities of Maine, the year-round communities, plus a few um, remote coastal communities that affect those communities. So they went to these communities and said, okay, what have we been doing right and what have we been doing wrong and how can we help better prepare for the future? And one of the big things that came out of this is economic diversification because majority of these communities rely on the lobster fishery, tourism, um, and a few other industries, but those are basically the big ones. So without some economic diversification, these communities are going to have a hard time seeing their future um, be the way, be sustainable. Um, there's high real estate prices from interest in, in summer houses. There is huge transportation costs to get out to these places. So how do we build an economy in these in these communities that will help us sustain was the main question that they asked. So that's where I came on as an economic development professional to help with small business support, with income diversification within the fishery, uh, community economic development planning and strategy, and um, some work with getting people into new businesses like shellfish aquaculture or teleworking from home by increasing broadband capacity in these communities. So it's been a lot of really interesting learning for me to learn from these communities what it is that they think economic development is and how I can help support that and how our organization as a whole can work together to meet all these different needs in the communities to make sure that that is successful. Sounds like incredibly important work. So if, uh, if I had a magic wand and if you had a moonshot in the work you do or uh, in the things that you've experienced both here in Maine and around the country, what would that moonshot be for you? I think for me, um, in this current job, I think one thing I'm con continually inspired by is the community leadership within mm -hmm. these, these communities in which we work, of these incredible people who put their lives uh, toward making these communities better or more sustainable and keeping the character that's already there and making it you know, available to their children and their children's children. I would love to be able to see that sort of leadership um, be, you know, be a, an example for other people to follow and be able to spread the word of that incredibly important way of community engagement that I see along the coast and the islands in Maine and be able to kind of transfer that as a, as a lessons learned for other communities that are in similar positions. Organization is doing that a little bit in Alaska and elsewhere, but I would love to see that be um, a big part of what I do um, in the future is, is showing the great work that these people are doing. It sounds like that would be a game changer itself. I think so. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much.